Welcome to Stream Like a Boss with your host, video coach, Tanya Smith, empowering service providers to use live stream video so you can serve more people, sell more services, and stand out online. If you're ready to get noticed, then let's do this. Here's Tanya. All righty, folks, welcome back. So this coming week on Thursday, we have a guest interview with a the founder, actually, of Stampede Social. His name is Jeffrey Duskin, and I'm excited about bringing him on. And as I was thinking through my process and my workflows and, and how I've documented um, and streamlined how I deliver live streams, whether they're guest or solo, I wanted to bring up this formula for you so that you understand the phases that we go through in order to prepare for these streams. And these phases you want to think about for yourself because it may be something different for you depending on the type of content you're creating, whether or not you have guests or you're only doing solo. I do a mix of both. But the three steps for live streaming tend to be slightly different from the workflow for a video on demand or a produced video. So I'm just going to lay this out for you. There's three steps. One is prepare, two is publish, and three is promote. So in the preparation phase, as I was preparing for the guest interview we have this week, I'm thinking about what are the clear goals that we want to achieve? What do we want to do here. We want to highlight and spotlight this founder. We want to talk about the platform itself. I want to put together questions that are going to really help him and his app to shine. And in return, that's also going to give me a little bit of a boost and some credibility because I'm sharing this app and the way that it really truly works from the founder's mouth so that people can see the efficiency in the way in which it's going to help them in their businesses. And specifically, this is a tool for Instagram that he has founded called Stampede Social. So preparation is about setting the clear goals. And in the process of setting those goals and thinking through the topics and the the questions and the visuals. What I'm doing in that preparation phase is also preparing to put together, because it's live, my schedule. So I have a date, I have a time, I need to put together the description, the title of the show, and put together a visual, which I happen to use Canva a lot, but I also use Adobe at times. So I've got those things ready to go. Um, I've put together questions, made sure that my guest is prepared, and there's a whole other show we can do on that, but my guest is prepared and knows what to do when they come on. And now the second step is publish, and that's when you're actually going live. So we did all the preparation work up front. In the publish phase, you're hitting the go live button. You're engaging with your viewers. You're popping up their comments on screen, acknowledging them, making sure that you're giving love, showing love to your guest. If you have a guest, if it's solo, it's a little different. You're answering questions and you're at all times being 110 percent authentically you. You are going to have to manage the crowd because you do have if you have a live and you're doing live, whether it's, again, a video podcast or a live stream, whichever you want to call it. You're going to have people that are interacting and you can't anticipate ahead of time what they're going to say. And it's not being produced out at this point because it's in real time. So the publish phase means that you have to become pretty adept at juggling a number of things. Now, if you have a team member, that might make things a little bit simpler. But most of the folks that I know that are doing these streams, like myself, are solo at the time of publishing. You're going to use interactive features in this phase. So you might have Q&A sessions um, or Q&A banners, if you will, that pop up. You might have polls that pop up. You might be giving shout outs. There could be any number of visuals and graphics and promotional bits that you have as a part of your stream. The third part, and this is the final phase, your live streaming is to spread the word. So you have published, you have hit the go live button, you have published it, you're now promoting the content that you've created. And so in this phase, you're letting people know about the stream, you're leveraging social media to post highlights, um, behind the scenes clips, reminders for people to go back and watch the replay. You're acknowledging comments that have been left. And so typically what I like to do is to look even a few days after the live has gone, there probably are going to be 
some comments that people have or questions that they have unanswered because they watch the replay. And so you want to be prepared that you have a system in place for the promotion, but also the management of the content afterwards. You're also going to be analyzing the stream so that you can get an idea of what you need to improve for future broadcasts. So I know I've simplified this, but I'm hoping that it will help to give you kind of a system to start with. There can be some more complexities that we can talk through in future episodes. And I definitely cover this kind of material in more depth in our classes in Stream Bosses Academy. But I just really want to give you a breakdown because we do have this video coming up. And so prepare publish and promote. Think of your workflow in those three phases and then outline for yourself a checklist of what that looks like for you. I hope that you've enjoyed this short episode of our companion podcast to our Stream Like a Boss TV show. You can find more information about us over at streamlikeaboss.tv or get noticed with video. And I hope you do subscribe and like our channel on YouTube which is at Tanya Smith, or you can type in Stream Like a Boss TV or Stream Like a Boss with Tanya Smith, and you'll find us on YouTube. All right, that's it for today. I will be seeing you in the next episode and hopefully in the stream. Take care. Thanks for listening to Stream Like a Boss. If you enjoyed this podcast, be sure to hit follow and subscribe and visit us at streamlikeaboss.tv so you never miss an episode. Until next time.